Hello, and thanks for tuning in to another BrailleNote Touch version 3.0 snapshot video. My name is Greg Stilson. I'm HumanWare's product manager of Blindness Products. In this video, we're going to show several features in one video, all related to language, voice, and Braille table switching. And that's all related to the language profile feature in version 3.0. So in past versions of the BrailleNote Touch, you could only have two uh, two language profiles. So for example, if you were an English and Spanish speaking person, you could toggle between the two uh, languages. We had many requests from customers who were multilingual that uh, either they wanted multiple languages available so that they could read a document in many different languages by toggling the, uh, the profiles, or they, uh, they wanted to have many different braille tables configured to language profiles. So in addition, uh, version 3.0 includes uh, the to it makes the total of the available Braille tables over 300 Braille tables inside the, uh, the Braille Note Touch. So in this video, I'm gonna show just how to create a new language profile because we can now create up to 10 languages, language profiles. And then we'll also show the changes in being able to toggle uh, amongst the, the language profiles. So on the screen right now, I have a document with three words. I have hello, hola, or bonjour, and hola. And what I'm going to do is show first how to create a language profile, and then we'll show how to toggle so that you can read each of these language profiles in, or each of these words in their appropriate language profile with the right voice and the right uh, Braille table as well. So what we're going to do is change the profile uh, and create a new profile using the same mechanism that we did before, which is the options menu, space with O. Options menu. And I'm going to go Select down to profile. configure language profile. Configure language profile. I just press my next thumb key, my far right one, and I'm going to activate that. Select a language. And you profile. see right now we have English, English US, English Espanol. US, uh, Espanol, and Francais. And profile. at this point, I'm going to add an additional language profile. To do that, I'm going to just activate it with a cursor router key. Alert profile name. It's first asking me for the profile name. So we're going to create a Portuguese language profile. So I'm going to press. Type of P O R T U G U E S D. Portuguese. And I'm going to press Space enter. configure language profile. So now I've created the language profile name because that's an, a new feature now is that you don't just have primary and secondary, but you can actually name your various uh, language profiles. I'm going to hit my next thumb key. Text to speech engine, Braille Note Touch Acapella. Right now it's using the Braille Note Touch Acapella uh, text to speech engine, so that's fine. Uh, you can also create a language profile with a different text-to-speech engine. If you're a person who likes the eloquence voice, uh, you can download that and use that in a language profile as well. I'm going to hit next. Voice, English, United States, Heather. Right now I have Heather, but this is another new feature, is that instead of only having two voices from acapella, we can now have four voices from acapella uh, at once. And like I said, that doesn't include any additional voices you download from other text-to-speech engines like eloquence and things like that. So I'm going to change this. I need to download the Portuguese voice. So I'm going to activate that. Voice, English. Right United now I have States. English, Spanish, Spanish French, 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 Dutch, and I have a Dutch voice as Dutch. well. So I'm going to replace my Dutch voice. Manage. Voices. And you see we have manage voices. So I'm going to activate that. Existing voices. It's now saying please, please select a voice to replace because I've already reached my four capacity acapella voices. So I need to replace my Dutch voice. So I'm going to hit D. Dutch, Netherlands. And I'm going to activate that to replace my Dutch voice because right now I don't have one. It's asking me what language do you want to replace this with? I'm going to hit P. Polish. Polish. Portuguese. Portuguese. There's Portuguese. I'm going to activate that. Select voice. Celia, Portugal, additional Marsha, Brazil. So we'll replace it with a Brazilian Portuguese uh, language voice. So I'm going to activate that with Marcia by activating that by pressing enter. Alert, select voice. Replace the voice done by Marsha. It's yes. asking me, am I sure that I want to do that? I'm going to hit yes, Y button. for yes and press enter. Key updater. And now you see that it's Down downloading the voice uh, at this point. So I'm going to go ahead and pause the video and let it finish downloading to replace that voice. And then we'll finish creating that language profile. Okay. And now we have succeeded in installing that voice. So now I'm going to press the exit button, space with E or back Existing button. Existing voices. And I'm going to press back again to get back voice. to my profile. So it's now asking me English, United States, Heather, to select my Spanish, voice. So Mexican, I got Spanish, French, French and Portuguese, now Portuguese. Brazil, and I'm going to activate that by pressing my, my cursor router key. Configure language profile. Voice. 
Portuguese, Brazil. So now I've selected my voice. So the last things I need to do is just change my Braille tables to actually use the Portuguese Braille tables. So I'm going to go to the bottom of the list with space in 456. Bottom. Delete language And you see profile. we have a new item called delete language profile. I'm going to press the previous thumb key to go back up. Literary computer Braille And I see table. that there's a computer English Braille US table Liberty. option, which is right now set to English US. I'm going to activate that. Computer Braille table. And I'm going to press P for Portuguese. There's Portuguese, Portuguese la Libluis, which is the, the table that we're looking for. So I'm going to activate that. Configure language profile. And the last thing I need to do is change my literary braille table. So I'm going to hit next. Literary braille table. And activate English that. Ubed, literary braille and tables. I need to hit P for Portuguese. Panjabi Duxbury. Panjabi. I'm going to keep Polsky going down. Polsky Duxbury. Polsky Libluis. Great Portuguese Duxbury. Grade one. And we'll choose the grade one Portuguese right there. I'm going to activate that. Configure. So now, braille. just with going through and changing my voice and my two braille tables, I have now set up. I'm going to exit out. Select a language profile to configure. And now you see that I have English, English I have uh, Spanish, French, Portuguese. and now Portuguese is right there in the list as well. So when I choose to toggle to the Portuguese. Uh, profile that I just created, I will hear the voice, the Portuguese uh, text-to-speech voice, and I'll also see the correct braille table with the, uh, the appropriate accents and things like that. So uh, the last thing I want to show is how I'm going to exit out of here. Options I'm menu. Exit back to my document. Box. Hello. And you see now I'm in my document. Talk. So I'm going to have uh, Heather read. Hello. Hello. Now the next one is bonjour. I see in, in my braille. Uh, so I'm going to change the language profile by pressing enter with L. Select now language before profile. we only had two language profiles, so it would just toggle between them. At this point, I'm going to hit F for French. Francais. And press enter. Francais. Et du box, hello. And now I see if I move my cursor down to... Bonjour, hola. Bonjour. Bonjour. And now I hear that spoken with the correct uh, text-to-speech voice. I also see that my, uh, my new line indicators have changed because it's no longer the dollar sign P that I'm familiar with from English, uh, English Braille, but using a different symbol for the dollar sign from French Braille. Um, to get it to read my last one in Spanish, I'm going to press enter with L again. Select language. I'll press English, yes. Espanol. Espanol. I'll press enter. Espanol. And now I'm using a different TTS, text-to-speech voice. I'm going to press space with dot four. Hola. And now I'm hearing it say hola using the correct TTS and the correct uh, Braille table for Spanish. At this point, I can press enter with L. Select la and E for English. English and I'll press enter. English US. And I'm back with Heather. Top and able to read this document in English. So I hope you find this uh, multiple language profiles useful for those of you who are multilingual or for those of you who read in multiple braille tables. You can set up different, uh, for example, if you have English uh, grade one, English computer braille, English grade two, if you wanted to set up English UEB, you can set up any of those braille tables in different language profiles. Um, and as I said, we have over 300 braille tables now available to us. So I hope you found this useful and stay tuned for future snapshot videos on the Braille Note Touch. Thanks a lot.